Okay guys, so today we have Vivian. Hello. She's a boss, she's a whole personality. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this. I love you. <laughs> so once we get through this, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. I love it. I was just kind of explaining to you, we're gonna do a chapter from the beginning of the book, a chapter from the end. And I just want to hear your perspectives. Because I feel like you always have really good, like, empowering. She takes no shit. She's straightforward <laughs> with it. You know, and not to mention you're super young. Yeah. But you've been doing this. Like, I was 17 when I moved to New York, and you were already working. Yeah. There at one of the top agencies, and you're still doing it. And now she's Wilhelmina fan, so we're still out here in LA together. Yeah, I can't, I forgot what we meant in New York. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I started working when I was 16. Right. Yeah. Total boss. <laughs> Total of oh, acting, so catch her on her, you know, <laughs> shows, no biggie, light work. Um, but so, I picked some stuff that I think you'll do great at okay. giving your thoughts and kind of take on everything. The chapter from the How to Choose People is betting on potential. And so, she scouts people aside from her acting here at Wilhelmina. Um, okay, so you just wanted me to give you a you my thoughts on betting on potential. Yeah, like betting on potential when it comes to people in your life because like people don't always right. get enough. Right. So my it's kind of funny because I am a scout professionally mm -hmm. but like I do feel like I'm kind of a scout. Like the amount <laughs> of ex-boyfriends I have that are so famous now Right. I like I you put people on. Yeah. I oh right. right. You know like I, I, I saw it I knew it. I nurtured it as much as I could mm -hmm. and now we're like Huge, right, right, right. You know, and it's like, um, and then like there was this one boyfriend who I had that had so much potential, mm -hmm. and it was so frustrating because I kind of, you know, those people that you know, they're they're just never gonna reach right. their full potential. Right. They're never gonna get there. They're never gonna put the work in in themselves. And yeah, because you can see something for somebody that yeah. they can't even see for themselves. Yeah. And you can't make them get there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, and it's like, the, what's that that proverb that is like, everybody is three people, how we see ourselves, how other people see us, right. and how we want people to see us. Right. And the closer all of those are in degree, like the better, the, the more stable person you are. <laughs> exactly. You know, because of all those three are like, one's over here, one's over here, one's over here, it's yeah. like all out of whack. And um, I think to to fulfill potential, mm -hmm. all of those things have to be aligned. Right. Good point. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, so what would you say if you had advice to chop it down to somebody watching or like somebody in a situation where they're trying to find somebody, like you cannot fall in love with somebody's potential. Yeah, no. That... Or and even, even in work stuff, like I'm sure you've gotten girls and you've been like oh my god you could be so great but if they you just, just showed up on time and <laughs> like, you just were like a nice person in general right like yeah. if you were a better human yeah I so mean, what would you if you could give like one little tidbit of like when you're you know if, if they're else. not if they're not willing to do the work themselves drop them totally i, I don't think i don't I do believe in point blank in, period. In, <laughs> how she keeps it. I mean, I do believe in in nurturing and always being there and supporting supporting someone, but there, to an extent, there's a line. To an extent, you there can, is a line. You, you have to have a line. Carry someone on your back. Yes, one hundred percent. That's not. I mean, it's not healthy. No, it's, it's not. not it's not going to help them. It's just enabling them to be lazy and procrastinate even further. Um, that's why I, you know, me my ex-boyfriend broke up is because I was like you're never gonna be who I want you to be right right so it's like even though I know you could be exactly it's not fair to them it's, it's not, not fair to them. I agree because too you can't resent somebody for what they can't exactly get. so exactly. it's like anything that because then that's just what you want them to yep. be or what you think of them yep. versus what they can actually give you yeah okay so the second one from the win to lose them, and this is kind of just like, you know, when you're getting rid of people you're surrounding yourself with, whatever, the importance of healing. So, healing yourself, kind of like, don't beat yourself up. After, 
after you go through a breakup. Yeah, or like a relationship or anything, anything in life. Yeah, anymore. just like how you really have to heal yourself before you can like continue on and don't beat yourself up because really a lot of stuff that other people do, it's not about you. Yeah. It's really about, just them. about them. Right, mm-hmm. totally. I think um I mean, I think that's obvious. That's obviously the hardest part totally. about like, like mm-hmm. having someone in your life all the time. It really does become everybody needs job. a friend like that's kind of Everybody yeah. needs a friend like Vivi because I feel like you'd be like, "Bitch, I know this is hard, but like, get up, come on, we got stuff to do. Get yeah. it together." Like I- you're understanding, but at the same time, like you also let people know like you're better than all this. You totally. know what I mean? I think I, my pet peeve. And it's so horrible because every friendship is is you're gonna go through a breakup uh-huh. with a friend. But like my pet peeve is when my my girlfriends get broken up with or dump someone because I know I'm like oh god now I'm gonna be on call for like the next two right. weeks. And it's okay. I'm I'm a very I'm a hyper self aware person. Yeah. But not everybody is, and it's really hard being someone who's so self aware to to be with someone that's like hysterical in bed mm-hmm. being like I'm never gonna find love again it's like right. you fucking are right. everybody like your dumb boyfriend that everybody hated you're gonna find someone better and in six months you're gonna be like why was I with this person totally, totally. you know and it's like I'm in my relationships not that I'm unemotional about them when they do end you know I give myself you know a 24 hour I cry it out I feel sorry for myself mm-hmm. I usually don't bring friends into that yeah. 24 hour because it's just like everything that you're thinking is unreasonable totally and and you need to level out before and, and process your emotions right. before you like subject someone to totally. that like, I'm very like that too, yeah. you know what I mean mm-hmm. and so when I'm dealing with it with a friend I'm just like you have to look at the big picture you have to see your life is going to be better for it his life is going to be better for it and you are we're, you know we're 23 like yeah. you're going to have like 10 more of these right. you're fucking 40 who right. knows totally. it's like you I think it, all it comes down to is just being aware and not totally. and not limiting yourself to just like the right now and just mm-hmm. saying like, oh my god I'm I'm 23 there's no way that this guy was gonna be the one right that's right. insane and so what about professionally from a standpoint where you've had to see girl you know you see girls go through it all the time and it's such an image based industry right. and all that stuff what do you say I feel like you always have good stuff just like about loving yourself believing in yourself like not you know, subjecting yourself to beating your own man, mind up so much. Totally, know? totally. I just feel, I mean, that's something that I struggle with. Totally. You know I mean? and, so like, and it's hard, like the world that we live in now and like. Yeah, with Instagram yeah. and all the, like everybody just buying. And the auditioning them. process alone has to be like, you know. Right, and everyone's just buying their way into being a supermodel. Totally. Oh, the biggest supermodels in the world right now would not be supermodels if they didn't change everything about the face that they were born right with. right right and so that's a really really tough standard to to live up to mm-hmm. and again it's just being aware it's like if, if you find yourself comparing if you find i i guess that's terrible advice because you're that's like putting other people down to make yourself feel better but like i really it, it hurts me that it's these the reality of situation are looking yeah. up to these like you know kardashian you know yeah. everybody and have, who have literally changed everything about their face and their yeah. lives. How can you can? It's just not plausible to compare yourself to somebody yeah, like that. Exactly. You so know? it's really about like the healing process, finding like your inner peace and having like yeah self confidence. Yeah. And working on that to be able to like move forward and you know yeah. it changes everything in your life when you're able to get there. Exactly. And it's yeah. a journey, but once I mean, you're I'm there, still getting there. Right. right. No, 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 everybody, no, you know. I have no advice on like how to get there because I'm just like I still struggle with it totally. every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's also healthy to struggle with it. Like we totally be happy embrace and that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So that you know you're real. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And stuff is happening. But yeah, so tell them your stuff and where to find you because she is absolutely hilarious. Um, I you can find me on Instagram at Viv. Yeah, I Double V. Um, they told Instagram told me that three letter usernames are reserved for only famous people. Like you can't have like. A oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I have to have them. I 
extra B. I was like, what? Double B, you guys. Find her at the double B. And I think that's like the only that's the only social media I have. Yeah, that's awesome. So find her there. Thank you so much for doing this.